just got up a little late, but this is uh, how I feed everything. So, I needed two hands for this, which was rinsing off the leaf of Letty and tearing it off the uh, center spine. It's kind of hard because he's chuckling that before. So I only give him the uh, pieces of the actual green lettuce themselves that he likes to eat. And of course he's tearing apart right now. So, after feeding the tank, take him over here to my book. And then go to his slot in the book. This is what I call the dockies. Which, yeah, I've been doing it for a while. Um, there we go. And so this is today. And so what I do is I go through and I look at the temp bottle. Squirtles himself, his shark, the CAE, the Chinese, how do you eat a tetra and pine snails? And the date and the time. So I come over here. He's eating lettuce. So that's what I write down. Um, I look to see tetras. I see tetras. I do. Um, uh, I had seen the shark. No, of course I don't. I also gotta feed this tank. So, when I feed this tank in the morning, it's on feeding day, I feed him every other day, is this flake food. Anyway, so you take a little bit of this. These guys are promised when it comes to eating. And you drop some in. Then you'll suck. And this tank is a little bit of flake food too. So I drop the reminder, reminder in there. Just like that. There we go. And then I keep on looking for it. Oh, there's the shark. Right there. Oh, there's Chinese sour cheetah right there on the wood. So there are those two. Both right there. Good. Go ahead and look at the tip. 76.3. So then you write down everything that just happened. 76.3 degrees Fahrenheit. This bottle was clear. Eating red leaf lettuce. No more, one, one, no more, no more. I usually count the amount of fish if I can. If it's something that is important to the ecosystem, I count it. If it's just the fish that doesn't really serve a purpose, mine is just being a distraction like the Tetra do, I just wait, seen, no more. Also, if they're just uncountable. I just write seen normal. Or I'll leave it blank if I don't see them. Parsnails, they have, I'm guessing, been eaten. Or I just don't see them, so I'll leave it blank. And then I go back one. Which is to this tank. The corridor tank. And I did the exact same thing here. I need to get paper for this tank. This tank is running out of paper. Um, there's a lot more going on with this tank. So, there's a lot more area here. So, again, we got the temp, the water, ride car, the better, guppy, store by koi, panda koi, julie koi, pepper koi, skunk koi, and a bino koi, and odo, kula, lo, shrimp, and hot snails. Whatever I can do, I will do. So, There's a tank. And so, pond snails, I can see those pretty clearly in here. This one right there, actually. Um, and I know where cooler loaches are, and I see rye. He's right there. And I see both guppies. They're right there. 
and three kilo loaches are on the toilets. So to make things easier on myself, have a scene, normal, three, and tortoise, normal. And if it's a nocturnal fish that I barely ever see, I use a check mark system, and each check equals each one. So the amount of checks is how many I've seen. There's three of them, so it'll be three checks for CR3. Or none, or just one, or two. Uh, the temp is 76.9. All my temps stay about 76 to 77. Water is clear. One, normal. Two, normal. They only got flake fruit. Yes, they did. Um, so next would be, I put the flake fruit away. I don't need this anymore. My other tanks don't, don't get flake fruit. The next step would be feeding rye. And you guess it's acting on better food. I never knew how uh, difficult it was to do this in one hand. Anyway. So I take you know, a few of these, like three, four of these. Come over here. I look at rye. And they dropped him in. And he goes and he eats. There we go. Awesome. There we go. And he's plucking him out. He's eating. I always want to see each fish eat. Um, the only fish in here that really saw probably saw the guppies. Um, but they've stayed in here so since they've been part of the ecosystem since it got up. About six months ago, I am not removing them. Anyway, so now, put this away. Next thing is the Koi's themselves, and they get these wafers. Um, I drop half of the amount of fish in there. And so there's 24 Koi doors, three Kuli loaches. I only dropped about 12, 13. Expect to oh, this cooler loach. I expect to see a cooler loach because they come out during feeding time. And so you get a little bit of these. Like so. And you just sporadically drop them around. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I only dropped around twelve. Eleven, twelve. There we go. Let me put this away. All right. And then you go to your dockies. So I have, let's see, Sandy the Albino is right there. So one active, normal. We have a cooler load, so that gives a check. Oh. Uh, let me see here. Everybody's coming. There's another cool loach. That's two checks. One, two, three, four. We have five pandas. I don't know if you can see them on camera, but there's five pandas. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine still by Koi. Which is how many are in here? Uh, let's see.
We have three pet boats. We have two females and one male. We have two skunks. And we have four Julies. Awesome. And then we have an Odo in here. So I need to find Odie. And we'll came off. Where's Odie? I'm not sure. But we shall find Odie. Usually just a waiting game for the Odie. Um, but he will be found. As he always is. And then when my wife gets up, right which she is up, <laughs> I did. We do the Raphael tank. So, and she also feeds Squatties these Raptis. It's Vepti Day. They all get fed on Vepti Day. This is now an 11 minute video. Oh my goodness. We're not even done yet. Oh, and there's Odie. Somewhere over there, see if I can actually get the video. He's on that plant. You see his little face. I think. On the video. I'm not sure if he can or not. But yeah. He's there. Oh, she faced the cats. Cats eating. Well. Let me flip one cat outside. And these, and these guys are finicky. Let me get them on video. Who knows? So she feeds these guys. She drops one. Did you get in there? No. There we go. Oh! What? Spike was looking out though. There he is. And the Spike. One of our spotted Raphael's. This is his feeding place, so he eats his there. He just ate his. And Mike is the one that we have to watch out for because he will eat everything. And that's not good for these guys. So he's, he's looking for food. Very active, very exciting. Excited at feeding time. Like, he knows all the feeding spots, so you have to be pretty quick about this. There he comes. He doesn't waste any time. Um, <laughs> he's pretty serious. Uh, Ralph, on the other hand, the two spots, still not as serious about the eating. Um, so we make sure that... Um, he doesn't eat too much. So he can eat at most... You know, sometimes we feed him as many as five. But... Usually we try not to feed him anymore than three. And the other one's one, sometimes two. He's just growing really quickly, which is about 55 setting up. So she may drop a couple more in here. Um, and this is their tank getting set up. 
And then she does rep these for the squirties. If he's ready for rep these. And he's still got a little bit of letty. He's eating letty. He's trying to eat letty. So yeah. Well, so yeah, why not? And that's how we feed. Water, water.